Well, hello, my beautiful Geminis. It's Kat. How are you? So today we have another Pika card, and today's Pika card is exclusively for my beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Risings. So if you do not have these placements, this reading is not meant for you. Um, I do have other videos made, though. I have made Aquariuses, Capricorns, Pisces, a Aries, and Tauruses. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, I have made those. I have made a playlist for them. So you might want to check those out if this video is not meant for you. But otherwise, I will move ahead with my Geminis. So we have three paths for you to choose from. We have pile number one with green quartz. Pile number two with obsidian. And pile number three with red aventurine. So when you have made your decision, go down to the description box to find your timestamp. I will give you a few seconds to decide. And when you're ready, I will see at your reading. Ready? Let's go. Hello, my beautiful palatable one. So you chose the green quartz. And number five, goblins. So I see with the goblins card that you've you've had a hard time with negative self-talk. I feel like you have fallen into this pit of darkness and it's really hard for you to get out to see the positive in things. I feel like naturally you are super positive but at the moment, it feels like everything is dark. Nothing is really working out in your favor. Um, I'm, I'm even getting this feeling of someone, someone uh, standing in the front of the mirror and just hating themselves, even though normally they wouldn't do that. It, this is abnormal to them. This is what I'm feeling. Like this, this darkness is not usual. It's quite unusual, in fact. Like, yeah, how should I put this? It's not, it's not common. It's not common to this person, to you, it's not common. It's almost like you have just fallen into some pit and you're having a really hard time getting out. Let's see. I am actually want these cards first. Let me get them. There we go. Pile number one, Spirit Guides. What message do you have for my Geminis? What, what message do you have for my Geminis? Okay, yeah, makes sense. We have carry me home, support, time to be carried, allow others to help. You have locked yourself away from people. I feel like maybe you don't really feel like being around people at the moment, but you need some help. You need to be carried. You don't have to do this alone. It's unnecessary. You don't have to do this alone. You need to allow people to help you out when you need it. I feel like there are people around you that would just love to help, but maybe you are a little bit too embarrassed. Maybe you don't want to talk about it then maybe you should try therapy. That is another option. Now I just heard that some of you already have a therapist and that was a useful, useless advice. Um, in that case, you can work it through with some, because I feel like you're having the dark night of the soul. You're uh, very deep within it's almost like your shadow self is taking over. 
and there is some shadow work that is required it's almost like you're like you're acting from an unhealed wound that's what I'm feeling here and perhaps uh, not allowing help is part of this wound perhaps you were burned once when you asked help or somebody wasn't trustworthy and you got hurt and you decided you were never going to ask help again but this is different now this is different okay that was fast The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay. So there is, this is something that, okay. First of all, this is something that you chose to have when you, before you reincarnated, you chose to have this journey. And it will be hard, but it will be so rewarding once you're out of it. And you will get out of it, trust me. Right now, you are in a cocoon. <laughs> not as a caterpillar, but, and not as a butterfly yet either, but as some goo, as some, some gunk that, because the caterpillar kind of like dissolves in the cocoon. You're in this dissolved state right now. You don't know what you are, where your head is, where your tail is. Um, you're basically being destroyed in order to for you to transform and this is a very painful process it's happening for you not to you that's important for you to remember and if you are having a really hard time sometimes when I was having a really hard time I would think that you know at least, at the very least, I don't have to go through today again. At least I don't have to go through it today again, because tomorrow will be a new day. Maybe it will be similar, but at least today is gone, and I don't have to do it again. And just concentrate on staying alive for another day. Go to the very basics. Make sure that you eat. Make sure that you drink. Make sure you stay alive for a little bit longer. Pile number one, Spirit Guides. What do my special Geminis need to know at the moment? Friendship. Okay, this is another thing about friends. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. This is another thing about friends. Do you feel like you don't really have any friends? Or nobody who understands you? Or are you hiding from them? could be both ways yeah you need friends if you have some great pay attention to them have them help you out if you don't have any it doesn't mean you will be staying alone forever you just need to get out of this face and you will get out of it. It's just really hard at the moment. This energy is really heavy. It's weighing really heavily on me. I feel like I have a thick black blanket over me on a hot summer's day. I feel super heavy. And I know this is how you feel as well. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here.
pile number one. What do my pile number one need to hear? <sighs> okay, good. Manifesting dreams. You are on your way to manifesting your dreams, even though it seems really hard. But you are on your way. You are on the right path towards your dreams. That's what I'm getting here. You're on the right path, honey. Even though this path seems dark and not the one you really would have loved to go through, um, it's the one you chose and it will lead you to where you want to go. It will. You're on the right path. You just need to allow friends to help you. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have a feeling that this deck still has something to say, so I'm going to pick it up again. That rarely happens, that when I have put away a deck that they want to speak again, but okay. Pile number one, Spirit Guides, what did you want to talk about? What do my pile of ones need to know? Uncertainty, yeah. Yeah. So you you are heading towards a path. You have no idea what awaits you there. What's going to be there? What are you even manifesting? <laughs> um, yeah. It's like you have no idea where you're going. You have no idea where you're going. But what I'm getting here is that wherever you are now is still better than where you left from. I'm getting that. So if that is something that resonates with you, focus on it. At least I'm better off than when than back then, or at least I'm better off now than when I was like two months ago. Or at least I don't have to live at home anymore or <laughs> something like this. Uh, yeah, there is hope for you. There is hope for you. I love this. Okay, let's move on to your tarot cards. I'm starting to feel the blanket like slipping off of me now. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna move these things. Three cards. We have six of pentacles, receiving and giving. We have ace of swords. And we have king of cups. What I see here is that lately you've been giving a little bit more than you have been receiving. Um, and that is probably why some of you ended up here in this place, in the first place. I'm getting that with, uh, with um, the Six of Pentacles. I also see that you are um, moving things along or going through things with a very rational mind if that makes any sense like very logically like it's almost like you're not allowing yourself to hope just in case it's not true just in case there is no is no way out of here you don't dare to dream But I feel like you are starting to let yourself go a little bit to allow to allow this this phase to be Yeah. 
it's almost like you're turning into an observer and I'm feeling this change as I'm reading. It's almost like you are changing your mind about things as I'm reading to you right now. It's almost like you're seeing, starting to see things differently and that is why the reading is changing so rapidly while I'm reading. It's almost like you're changing your mind about things in uh, for the better for the better it's almost like you're starting to see hope you're starting to see hope again you're starting to see that this is actually just a phase this is not forever there is an end to this and you just need to allow it to pass okay i'm being said or shown a you know how buffaloes, they hate rain, they hate the ton thunder. Um, so when they see thunder clouds, um, they run straight to them, towards them. Because when they run towards them, and as the clouds are like passing them by, they have to stay a little bit less under the rain. You know, does that make any sense to you? Like, let's say, let's say if they did the opposite, if they were running away from the rain, the rain would end up eventually catch up with them and then they would just run under the rain trying to get out of it, but they can't because they are running away from it. Uh, but if they run right through them, they just pass each other by. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they just pass each other by. So they don't have to stay in the rain for a very long time. They just go right underneath it. So that is what is happening here as well. You've been running away from pain. You've been running away from sorrows. You've been ignoring people around you. Hoping that this would just magically be over. But you actually have to do the work to get out of it. You have to see why you ended up here. And how can you get out of it. For example, um, well, give me an example. <laughs> um, I said, let's have an example before I even had an example. So now I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's think. An example for this. Well, I don't have an example, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. That is what I see for you. You need to face your fears. See where where is this wound. They say in the card, like in the goblin cards, that in the book, that uh, the goblins are created when you are hurt and something very essential of you falls on the ground. They are created from this essential thing. And then they start following you and then they have your voice and they mimic you saying you're unworthy, you're this, you're that. And they just follow you until you're ready to face them. So that is what is happening for you, I see. In the very near future, you will have so many choices you can make. So many choices and hold on I'm gonna my leg has fallen asleep so I'm just gonna get it from underneath me you will have so many choices and so much abundance but you need to get out of here first now I, I, I'm starting to feel that there is this fight coming out of you now. Like there is this little fire like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to get myself out of this. I want to get out of this. There is this Gemini fire. Ooh, love it. Pile number. Ooh. The chariot. The chariot talks about moving forward, getting out of there victory, winning, moving on. You are getting out of here, honey. You are getting out of there. 
So in case you're like unsure of what to do, you need to dig deep. You need to figure out like where you where is this hurting you? Like what is the problem? Some of you I feel like it's has to do with friends. Some of you may feel like you don't have any friends and or any friends that you can trust. And let's take that as an example. What you should do in that case is to be a friend to yourself first. Become the friend that you need. And then eventually you will manifest your friend group just like that. But it starts with you loving yourself the way you want to be loved. Let's get some more cards. Pile number one, spirit guides, pile number one. Six of Cups. Mm. For some of you, this is uh, from your childhood. There is a pain in your childhood, maybe some sort of uh, childhood trauma that has an effect in this. I see that for some of you. Some sort of trauma that you have to work through. We also have the tower and the death. I'm not taking reversals today. Um, in this deck at least. We have the tower and the rebirth. Death and rebirth. So your whole whole world is going to shake and crumble. I feel like that is already happening though. Like you already knew that. That that is why you're here. You're here because of those because of the tower card. Everything you've ever known that wasn't built on a solid foundation is crumbling or has crumbled. And now you are being reborn. You're being reborn. Yeah. Being reborn is not pleasant, <laughs> but it's necessary. And for you, I feel like later on, like when you are out of this phase, and I feel like, so, because I just heard, it's not a phase, mom. <laughs> Some of you may feel like, you know, this has been a lot longer than you, so that you could call it a phase. But let me try, let me tell you something. It is a phase. It's just a little bit longer for some of you, a little bit shorter for the rest of you. Um, different lengths. But... Ugh, sorry. <laughs> but... You're gonna get out of there. You are gonna get out of there. We have the chariot, which is literally about getting the hell out of some place. So yeah, you're getting out of there. And a lot faster than you think too. That's what I see for you. So this is what I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed at least the rest of it. <laughs> um, I would really love to know how this resonated with you, so you can leave me a comment or a like or even subscribe if you feel like doing that, but otherwise I truly hope I see you in my next one. So bye! Hello my beautiful pile number two. So you chose the obsidian, but I lost it. <laughs> I have no idea where it went! I don't know! Like it, it, it was just gone! So we don't have an obsidian now. But it's okay. You chose this card either way. This one is... Ow, 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 ow. My bra stabbed my arm. We have number 52, Magical Map Shifter. Ooh. So the Magical Map Shifter talks about two things. It talks about you becoming a better version of yourself. And it also talks about people coming into your life that secretly kind of lead you to the direction of 
you becoming your best self. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> um, I'm drinking an energy drink, so that's why. But let me take a look at this card. I want to see what's on it. It has a like a toy horse, a fish, a crown, I think, and a frog, a heart, and a compass. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to see what was on it. So random things. So basically you are, it's almost like this is a continuation of pile number one. Um, because pile number one, they were going through, the, going through some dark shit. And I feel like what they were going through was like getting out of that hole. And you have gotten out of that hole and started to shift your your way to go. Like, where are you headed? Pile number two, Spirit Guides. What do you want to say to my Geminis in pile number two? Ooh, that's way too many cards. Okay, we have the unicorn and the maiden. So what I get with the unicorn and the maiden with the purification is that you might want to consider getting rid of some random things. Um, Go through your your closets and and rooms and and boxes of random things and and go through them and kind of I want to say detoxify, but that's not the word. Uh, but like declutter and make some room for new things to come into your life because you are on the verge of change and. And I remember it says in the book, it says, be a positive activist for change. I remember that. So that is what is going on for you. Pile number two. Okay, so you've got two cards. We have trust the niggle. What is, niggling feel, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? And then we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Agent ancestor stands beside, beside you. Okay. So I feel like you have this little tickle, this niggle. Um like a need that is telling you something that you need to get done I don't know do you have this feeling like you really need to clean up the kitchen or the bathroom or there's something that is really bothering you follow it follow that that feeling follow that niggle where it takes you uh, keepers of the earth I also see that um, right now you're being watched <laughs> not in a creepy way but in a spiritual guidance type of way you are being watched you're being followed whatever you're doing it's working and people are like your ancestor ancestors are kind of like excitedly watching what you're doing just to like see it's kind of like entertainment to them uh, but in a good way they're like really excited for you that is something that I'm getting here. It's like they are just super excited to see where you end up, like what you're gonna do. We 
we have a pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of them all. Yeah. Pure intention. That's what you need to have in order to bring your manifestations in. Like, take a look at your manifestations. Take a look at the things that you want to manifest. Think about why you want to manifest them. Dig really deep into the need of it. Like, why do you want that? Dig super deep. And, um, yeah, dig super deep into it. There's something out there. I don't know what it is, but there's something with your manifestations that it could be that the reason why they are not manifesting could lie within the intention, if that makes any sense. Um, like maybe you're wanting things for the wrong reasons, but you can shift it. You can, When you notice your mistake, you can shift it and... Um, want it for the right reasons and then it will come to you. Pile number two, spirit guides. What do you want to say to my Geminis? Oh, power. Power. Yeah. There's something awakening in you. A new kind of power. It's the type of power that makes people feel really safe with you, like you can protect them type of way. That is what I'm getting here. Um, there was also talk with the magical map shifter talk. <laughs> magical map shifter card that there might be people here coming into your life you need to really pay attention to the people that are coming into your life right now uh, make sure that you understand what they are doing here because it could be there are two examples i remember or at least the one example i remember in the book it says, like, it could be that you find your soulmate and they help you become uh, the best version of you. Or you may encounter someone who will help you, guide you from a bad place to somewhere safe and secure. So, pay attention to the people that are coming into your life. Be really good attention to that. Because they are there for a reason. Yeah, they are there for a reason. So let's move on to your tarot cards. Pile number two, spirit guides. Pile number two. What message do you have for my pile number twos? We have the tower in reverse. Am I taking reversals? I am taking at least this one. I am taking reversals. Okay. The tower in reverse. You are building on a solid foundation this time. You are building something. Uh, some of you are building a business and um, some of you are building a relationship or a friendship. And this is based on a solid foundation this time. It's almost like you have learned from your past mistakes. We also have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Empress. I'm sorry about the noises outside. 
Oh no, it was this way. I wonder... Reversed, I see. I thought so. Um... It's almost like you are relieved of something. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna close the window because that noise is really loud. That's a little bit better. It's not so loud anymore. Okay. Ten of Swords and the Empress. Ten of Swords and the Empress. The Ten of Swords, it usually has a person who has like ten swords on his back. And I wonder why it's so different in this card. Why it's not described that way. But it was reversed for you. So interesting. So the Ten of Swords, it talks about, in reverse, it talks about recovery. And then we have the Empress, who is the queen of self-care. So what is needed of you is to take care of yourself in the best way possible. Nourish your body with the best and take care of your body, exercise, treat yourself and remember to rest as much as possible. We also have the moon here. I've never really realized it or noticed it before that we have the moon there. It talks about intuition, listening to one's intuition. So, for some reason, I'm seeing someone going through the store and kind of like some objects or some products are like calling them. Like, I'm seeing there is this little shop where I like to go to that has a lot of like uh, makeup and lotions and masks and a lot of like self-care things. And I'm seeing like things like calling me as I walk through, like these would be the best for me, these would be the best for me. That is what I see here with the intuition and with the, with the intuition in the Empress card. So that might be something you would, you should do. exploding we also have the queen of swords so the queen of swords is someone who always speaks clearly and honestly and very uh, bluntly and as it is underneath a magical map shifter I see that it could be uh, something that you need to do with the person who will be helping you out. Or it could be that this person is the Queen of Swords. Someone who is very uh, sharp, very intelligent, um, logical and rational. That is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. More cards. Oop. Oop. We have nine of swords. Interesting. Can you please clarify the nine of swords for me, please? Oh, 
the star. Okay. Are you worrying that your dream toy not may not come through? Because if you are, let me tell you something. You don't have to worry. As you can see, this uh, person who has this star on a leash, like they know exactly how to get there. They have a straight path to their dream. Like you don't have to worry about that. That is already like, I hear like written in the stars. Like your dreams are achievable. It just requires you to listen to yourself. And also now I'm thinking that this queen of swords may be an advice to you. Yeah. Like maybe you should be a little bit more clear, a little bit more honest, a little bit more uh, mean what you say, mean everything you say. Yeah. Wow, you're really afraid of getting your heart broken. But it's almost like, like, that is not something you should worry about. Like your, your spirit guides, they are not leading you to this thing to have your heart broken. They are leading you to live a life. They want you to live a life. And the best way to do that is by living it, experiencing everything there is to experience. But yeah, don't be so afraid. Hearts are stronger than you think. They are so much stronger than you think. Pile number two, Spirit Guides. There is just this feeling of like, what is the point? Like, what if, what if it's not meant for me? What if, blah, blah, blah. But that's just nonsense. Like, like I just hear like, that's nonsense. Like stop, like that's just, that's just stupidity. <laughs> Don't listen to that. That's foolishness. We have the hanged man which talks about having a different uh, point of view. Yeah, having a different point of view. Yeah. It's almost like you're supposed to change your point of view. Realize the strength you that you have in your in your arsenal. Because you have so much more strength than you think. With the power card, the dragon card, I remember it said in the book, like the story in the book was that the lady goes to sleep. And at night she wakes up and realizes that she is extremely warm and realizes that that a dragon has cuddled up with her and keeping her warm. So what does that mean? Number 11 resides to 2. Can you please clarify the power card for me, please? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups clarifying. Oh, are you afraid of meeting someone? Are you afraid that a person is gonna break your heart?
Because it could be, because like I said in the beginning, the magical map shifter, it can talk about finding your soulmate, because it talks about becoming the better version of yourself. It literally says in the book that you may find your soulmate who will help you become the best version of yourself. Um, so is that what you're afraid of? Let's get one last card. Okay, that was fast. We have Six of Cups. Like, what you want is loyalty. What you want is loyalty. And I feel like your ancestors will lead you there. They will lead you to the people that will be the best for you. But you have to trust your intuition. You have to trust and go for it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So these were all the messages I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed. I would really love to know how this resonated with you. So you can leave me a comment or a like or even subscribe if you feel like doing that. But otherwise, I truly hope I see you in my next one. So bye! Hello, my beautiful palette three. You chose the red aventurine. And number 16, rescue. So what I'm getting with this card is actually a poem. I don't remember the poem word to word because it was a long one, but the gist of it is that there is, you see your younger self sitting, um, it always makes me cry, so don't mind me. You see your younger self sitting um, on their bed in your old room and you go up to them and you, and they look at you and ask, does anybody come to save us? And you say, yeah, yeah. And um, their eyes light up and they were like, who, who comes to save us? And you say, we do, we save ourselves. And, oh, I wasn't expecting to cry this soon in, in, during a video, but life. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is what I'm getting here right away with the rescue card. You are saving yourself. Okay, we have a card that turned around. Silver Sisters. Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. interesting time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy it's almost like you are protecting yourself from these energies from these toxic people and thoughts um, it's almost like you're finally seeing somebody or some people for who they truly are and that they are not good for you. That is something that I'm seeing here. Yeah. Let's get another card. Pile number three, Spirit Guides. What do you want to say to my pile number three? Boundaries, oof. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Yeah, you are establishing boundaries with people, with yourself as well. Sort of making sure that um, how should I put this? It's almost like you have woken up and realize that you're being used. And it's not just other people, but it's yourself as well. 
kind of like um, how should I put this it's almost like you are letting someone you included to affect your thoughts a little bit too much do you ever have this feeling like whenever somebody says their opinion, you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I agree with that, uh, if they have a good enough point, and you kind of forget your own thoughts about the matter. Or let's say somebody else orders, I don't know, duck at a restaurant, and you're like, okay, I'll order duck too. And then you're like, I hate duck. <laughs> I don't know, does that ever happen to you? That's something that I'm getting. So you need to establish boundaries with yourself as well. Like, like figure out what it is that you like. What do you want? And do that. But also, like, not let other people affect you so much. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Pile number three, spirit guides. Pile number three. That's a little too many. Okay, so you have... No. <laughs> I was going to take them, but it was like five cards. Pile number three, spirit guides. What do you want to say to my Gemini's? Tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through the current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. Through the sounds it makes. What I'm getting with this is that the music has messages for you. Your spirit guides communicate with you through lyrics and songs and sounds. So it could be that sometimes when you're thinking of something, you hear a honk or, or a message bling sound or, or, um, when you're thinking of something and the exact answer comes through to you in a song. I feel like that is how the your spirit guides are communicating with you at the moment. And they have a lot to say to you, by the way. Okay, two cards. We have protection. And then we have transcending. Funny because it's the same picture. I kind of hate that when that happens. <laughs> when the when the deck has the same backside as the front side. Not my thing. Hold on. Let me put these straight. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So... You are being protected at the time, at this time. And with the transcending, it's almost like you are exceeding, I hear exceeding expectations. I don't know how else to put it. Um, I remember that there is a saying or, or something that it says in the book. It says, don't bother yourself with others or or something like this like don't care what other people say right now and that goes well with the boundaries card and the rescue and the silver sisters <laughs> all the cards um yeah i just realized that you have a lot of let me take a look at this card Rescue. I wonder. 
wonder why it's being shown this way. Like, why? what was the artist thinking while creating this image for the card of rescue? I don't quite see it. That is just what I was thinking. Nothing, nothing more to the reading, actually. But let's move on to your tarot cards. Pile number... We have six of wands, success. So whatever you are going to be building is going to be successful. Especially if you are able to hold up those boundaries that you have set for yourself and for others. That is the key here for your success. Um, yeah. I'm being, there is a message coming through about you being a kind of person who would give the clothes of your back to somebody else. And, but the thing is that you need those clothes as well. You can't run around naked. <laughs> so, I remember I was a really, I don't know why I even did that, but it was something I had to learn to get over. I, I um I was a really quiet kid and um whenever somebody would like pay attention or or give me a compliment about like oftentimes it was a necklace that I wore I would just take the necklace off and give it to them just because they gave it a compliment cuz I thought well if they like it so much they should have it I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to please them so much because I guess they gave me a compliment or something like as, as a, like give something in return <laughs> because I rarely got any compliments. Um, that was a really weird thing that I did, but I feel like you may have done the same thing or close to the same thing. You may uh, resonate with that message. Because you are so helpful, you are so kind, you oftentimes help other people and take that as a com confirmation. Um, like, let's say, let's take, um, hold on. If we think about the poem that I told you about in the very beginning, it was, um, about you basically saving yourself, but you are the kind of person who would also save other people, not just yourself. I feel like you will be helping other people who are in the same situation as you were at some points in your life. And I feel like it's somehow tied to this success card. Maybe you become really successful at it. Maybe you love helping people and you become really successful at it. Or that kind of creates your career. That is another option. You know, take it as it resonates. I don't know, that might have been just a message for one of you, uh, depending on how many people see my videos. Um, but yeah, pile number, oh, there we go. We have the Page of Swords. Please clarify the Page of Swords for me, please. The Magician. You are manifesting this success by um, working really hard for it. For studying, there's, there's something about studying really hard. So perhaps you are studying something, studying a profession studying at a university or, or someplace, college, 
I don't really know what's the difference between the two, but um, something like this. That's something that I see here, especially with the magician uh, clarifying the page of swords. Pile number three, spirit guides. Pile number three. We have the three of swords as well. Something about heartache. Can you please clarify the three of swords for me, please? Okay, judgment. You need to let it go. Oh, and you also had, I didn't realize it, but there was also uh, the chariot card that also came out with the judgment. I just didn't notice it, and but I put it back in the deck. I can't find it anymore. So we also had the chariot. There's some pain in your past that you're not quite letting go of. You're not quite ready to move on yet. But that is something that you need to get over. That you will get over as you kind of start to protect yourself from, you know, toxic thoughts and energy. Perhaps you're kind of, your mind is still stuck on it. Thinking that it's your fault or you should have been better or you should have done better. Um, that is not true, first of all. That is not true. And secondly, it's so far gone. You need to let it go. I mean, look at this. Look at this judgment card. It's so beautiful. I love this judgment card. She's letting it go. Letting go of the judgments. Flowing free. Let's get some more cards. Pile number... I keep seeing the Two of Cups card, just so you know. Ace of Pentacles. You're ready to take root. And also, I feel like these new habits that you are creating are, take, are taking root as well. But it's almost like you desire some roots. I feel like you've been floating around for quite a long time. Especially, I see, I see like a bird flying over the ocean having no place to land. Um, trying to find just some place to land. And, and it's almost like... Sometimes they see something that could be something that they could rest on for a little bit, but it ends up being a whale that, you know, dives back into the depths soon, soon after they have touched it. That's something that I see. But I feel like you're finding your land quite soon. You also have the Ace of Wands as well. So there is a spark igniting within you. Some sort of passion is igniting. I wonder what it's about. Rescue. I'm being taken to the success card and to the career. Uh, do you plan, it's almost like you plan on, like your dream job is, has something to do with saving people. Or helping people at the very least, but it's more so about saving people. Could also be saving animals, but I'm, I'm more so uh, being taken to saving people. Perhaps you want to be a police officer. Perhaps you want to be... Um, Someone who takes care of like young women. That is something that I'm being taken care taken to. I'm I don't really know any other examples for a job. Job examples.
We then have the hanged man in reverse. Was I going to take reversals? I wasn't going to. But the message is the same, I feel like. It's almost like you are shifting your um, point of view. Can you please clarify the hanged man for me, please? Queen of Pentacles. Rescue and the boundaries. Yes, okay. With the hanged man underneath the boundaries card and the Queen of Pentacles uh, um, clarifying it, I see that you're going to shift your your point of view or your how should I put this mm, you're going to change your ways of behaving in order to build your 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 empire like you're gonna if you were the type of person who would just like give 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 without getting anything in return you're gonna stop that you're gonna put a boundary there that to those people who give me 20%, I will give 20% back. To those who give me 80%, I will give them 80% back. To those who give me 100, I will give them also 100. And this helps you preserve your energy and your, your money, your energy, your time, so that you are able to build your empire and grow and grow it, become successful at it, become successful at your, at your job or whatever it may be. That is what I'm getting here. Oh, so we got three cards. We have five of wands, which talks about struggle and competition. So it won't be an easy journey. We also have the temperance, which talks about balance. And with this card, I also take it as a balance between your shadow self and light self. We also have Ace of Cups, which talks about fulfillment. You have three aces, by the way. Three aces. It's not going to be an easy journey, but it's going to be a necessary one. And it's going to fulfill your your energy in a way that you've never seen before. That's what I'm seeing here. Like this job, this career, or this hobby, it's going to fulfill you like nothing else. It's almost like work is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Like, you don't want to do anything else. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. But yeah, these were all the messages I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed. I would really love to read for you again. And um, I would also love to know how this resonated with you. So you can leave me a comment or a like or even subscribe if you feel like doing that. But otherwise, I hope I see you in my next one. So bye!